This is Lois Erdman Wright. Now, I usually, I always say that I'm Lois Wright because on, well, I have a show on LTV. I love LTV. And I have this show, I've had it for about 20 years, called The Lois Wright Show. Well, this is Lois Wright, and this is The Lois Wright Show. Hello, this is The Lois Wright Show once again. Hello, this is Lois Wright, and this is The Lois Wright Show again. Hello, this is Lois Wright, and this is the Gypsy Spirit Time Show. And although there's not any gypsies here, uh, it's uh, the Gypsy Spirits are all here. Hello, this is the Lois Wright Show once again, and I have guests that I believe are going to be very informative. Hello, this is the Lois Wright Show once again. But two young women came up to my table, and, and they, <coughs> they said to me, uh, will you be a guest on LTV? So I, I said yes right away. And so I drove to the uh, LTV studio. I did a show, and I liked it very much. I just loved it, and I still do. Now, I have a, a mystery guest. But this, this mystery guest, it has to be a mysterious person that would, uh, it was an emergency. And from the music, you can tell that we are uh, still in the old, old west, where I find it very relaxing. Howdy there. How you doing coming today? in, Coming in the saloon for a drink. Yeah. Oh, uh, you got a special bottle? I heard you have my favorite, some old crow whiskey. I heard you had a good card game going on, but I don't see any cards. Well, I haven't been playing since I had to sh shoot, shoot that fool uh -oh. that was cheating at cards. That's not and, good. Uh, so we all got so upset about that. You were born on this planet, born but you were well, you were born on this planet. Mm -hmm. but we had, I'm not sure we had that quite emphatic enough. Mm -hmm. But that you you are you're in your past lives you were from other planets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well. On planet Earth, you think still you're the center of the universe. And you're not yet a very, very tiny part of it. Well, I should say, a little grain of sand there on the beach. Mm -hmm. But everybody's acting and using the planet as though it's theirs. And the planet doesn't belong to the people on planet Earth. It belongs to the universe. It, it made me very, very nervous. But it was a challenge to me. In other words, I detested being timid. I really did. So the only way to overcome it is to do what makes you nervous. Have our own show. I don't think Diane... Forget Diane Pescadoro, oh, that Diane. fat slob. She'll come She's in a here. pig. Listen, I a, have, Listen, do you of, agree with me? There's she's a lot a, of guns around here. She'll come in here and shoot me. I mean, she's an ugly son of a... Oh, shit, right? no, she's I'm very a, attractive. Come on now. Yeah. She's as dumb as a piece of wood. I heard North every Carolina. word you said. I didn't say Every it. word. Have a dot. I will not have a dot. Now, Lois, talk to me. What's going on? I'm going to pour you a drink. Oh, I have a drink, darling. Well, where'd you get that from? I always keep a bottle you in have my to, car. This is a lifeline, plus that success line, if you notice, is deeper than this one. Mm -hmm. See the difference yeah. in the two? Mm -hmm. Now, that's the moon. You always have these planets in your hand. Now, they, they, the Mercury, the Sun, Saturn, and Jupiter, Upper Mars, Lower Mars. This is an appreciation of 15 years of service to LTV Public Access. My goodness. Thank you very much. Well, thank you. We all thank you. I can't imagine a person not wanting to be a producer at LTV. That to me is like saying I can't imagine people not wanting some money or I can't imagine people not wanting a new car. Everybody in East Hampton knows I'm thankful for LTV. Everybody. I tell everybody how wonderful LTV is and I look forward every two weeks to doing a show, and I don't understand why people, as I said before, you think they'd be lined up there trying to get a, get a show on LTV and take that wonderful producer's course. This, to, this is how I felt. Uh, at Grey Gardens, the world cannot intrude. I feel it to be as safe and private as any mountain peak in ancient Tibet with no formality of conduct, convention, or customs, just the slow envelopment of the old house around my mind or soul. Someday, as with little Edie, I might turn into a special butterfly. One thought one was going to turn into something. 
and not, but I don't. And I look forward to it and not to old age or death there. Perhaps this is one of the secrets of Grey Gardens, the desire to remain until it's time. Uh, however, time seems not to exist. Any more than it does on this show, I never know. And, uh, and the cats watch with interest. They seem to wait also. Only the raccoons seem to live in a total reality. They were very practical. And they were constantly trying to open the icebox door. When you consider what to, what's going on today, and then you can pay a Lois. She's very gifted. She, she really is. She's very 